This is 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 energy We use the word energy freely describing everything from the power of the sun to the moods of our partners So what is energy Open your freezer and choose an item roughly the size of your hand. A frozen pie is perfect. Place it on your upturned hand and gently lower your other hand on top, enclosing the pie. Observe. Feel the heat from your body flowing into the pie. What you are witnessing is the transfer of energy from you to the pie, experienced as a loss of heat. Your supply of energy is in fact finite and to replace it you will eventually have to eat the pie welcome to the cycle of energy another energy occurs at social gatherings where expressions like positive and negative energy are often heard as we now know there is no such thing as positive or negative energy only energy itself flowing from the hot to the cold remember that Next time you sense someone having negative energy and remind yourself they're just cold. Another popular form of energy is known as surplus energy or the human condition known as too much energy where a subject has more energy than a set of circumstances requires. And then there are the moral energies. Good energy and bad energy are popular notions used to describe mood swings caused by the presence of others. Can we measure morality in physics? The answer is yes. By simply asking subjects, we can easily plot their response on a graph whose axes are good energy and bad energy. It's plain to see that goodness or badness of energy is directly related to preconceived notions of the subject's character. Research shows that an abundance of bad energy usually results in an improvement in friend selection, while good energy tends to reinforce relationships already in place. How's that for science? Thank you, energy.